Okay, I'm gonna open up the, uh, the meeting. This meeting is being audio and video uh, recorded. It is being seen presently on channel nine and it will be uploaded to uh, YouTube. Could we all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and please remain standing? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Chairman. Please remain standing. I wish to mention the passing of a number of Dighton residents. Robert J. Lopes, Suzanne Ayotte, Gilbert Souza, Raymond Bellabo, Barbara Blackwell, Carlos Medeiros, Ryan Hazel. Dighton is known as a small town with a big heart, and Dighton's big heart continues to grieve for Ryan Hazel and his family, and in their memory, I would request a moment of silence, please. Thank you. So we're gonna begin the meeting with a uh, hearing on a liquor license for 1712 restaurant. But before we do that, I'm asking for about a 10 minute delay. I would ask for a motion to go down to new business 7A, vote on order to euthanize. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion uh, that we move item 7A uh, out, of order, out of order. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, the ayes have it. Madam Town Administrator, do you have a comment please? Good evening. The District Attorney, Dighton Police Department, an animal control officer are all in agreement that the five suspected dogs be ordered to be euthanized. The dog's owner, Mr. Dunmore, has been notified and advised of his rights and has signed a waiver of his rights to a dangerousness hearing and to appeal the decision made this evening. And therefore, you can proceed with your vote. I'm entertaining a motion to order to euthanize the following dogs involved in the severe attack and ultimate death of a human occurring on May 9, 2019 on Maple Swamp Road. Gigi, a Dutch Shepherd, two years old. Buffy, a Belgian Malinois, eight months old. Rita, a Belgian Malinois, eight months old. Otis, a Belgian Malinois, eight months old. And Mona, a Belgian Malinois, four years old. So moved. Second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstains, the ayes have it. I just want to thank uh, for the board, the Dighton community for the support and comfort that they've given Ryan Hazel's uh, parents during this terrible, terrible time. And Mrs. Goulart mentioned that we're a small town with a big heart. That's not just a slogan and you people have shown me how important it is that when we, something like this happens that we unite and we try to help each other. So I just want to thank all the people in town for all the work that they've done. Thank you. So we're gonna go back to the um, hearing on the liquor license for uh, 1712. I received a uh, letter uh, today from the uh, fire chief. Who, who's representing the uh, 1712? I'm here for the okay. Okay. If you could please. Okay. So we'll have a vote to open up the hearing on the uh, liquor license. Right. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, the ayes have it. So I'm not sure if you've seen this letter. I have not, this is the first I've heard of it. But I've seen, uh, received a letter from the fire chief and it says, my department is okay with the liquor license transfer from Giorgio's restaurant to the new 1712 res restaurant with the following stipulation. A fire alarm system will need to be installed within the structure to the current code within the first six months of the business operation with that time period starting on the date of this letter. The current suppression system within the cooking hoods will need to be tied into the new fire alarm panel. This system will have to be monitored by an alarm company. Any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me at any time. We can address those concerns with the fire chief. He said he, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, he said he is going to send that in writing so that you'll have that, but yeah, I'll make sure was, that he He was does. at the premises. Right. I was there during one of his inspections and. I believe he had to leave for a call, so I don't, I don't think we got to complete it. 
So based on information, other information that I received today, I am asking that this hearing be continued to either June 5th or June 12th, whatever is uh, convenient for the applicants. Could I ask why? It's uh, fairly straightforward. I can't state why. Uh, the town administrator will be in contact with you either after this meeting or tomorrow, and she can discuss that with you. I prefer not to state the reason. We've had a conversation with the applicant as well this evening, so they do know uh, that we're continuing it. Okay. Literally, this this came, literally this came in, I don't know, an hour ago, so okay. we'll, I, it'll be fine. Yeah, I, I just got no notice of what's going on. So, so what date is best, June 5th I, or June 12th? I think we'd like to do it as soon as possible, so I would ask for June 5th. And we're okay to have it on. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, can we just set a time, so 6.30 on June 5th? Uh, Mr. Chairman, are you we, accepting motion? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. It, it, depending on your agenda, could you do it later? I have another hearing, but it is oh. important that we get this done. Sure. So yeah, that's just no the first order of business. Yeah, I was what works? Say, could we do it at about 7.30? Would that be possible? I have 7 30 is okay we're going to be doing just trying interviews. to get you in and out but yeah, that's I fine yeah. I appreciate it but I have, <laughs> yeah. I have another matter but sure. it's very urgent we get this acted on sure uh, Mr. Chairman I make a motion that we move the public hearing uh, for the liquor license transfer uh, for 1712 Corporation Incorporated to 7 30 p.m. on Wednesday June 5th second. second any discussion if not all those in favor say aye aye, aye. Oppose aye. abstentions the ayes have it Thank you. Well. Thank you. Thank you. Is there someone here representing 44 liquor license uh, corporation? No. So, thank you. I know what the gentleman looks like. I haven't seen him here. Good evening. Uh, my name is Matthew Porter. I'm the attorney uh, for the applicant here today. So before the board, this is a transfer of the 44 Liquors Corp uh, package store license. Um, the transfer is taking place to um, 44 Liquors Corp here in Kumar Patel and Amit Kapar Patel, who are the 50% shareholders of the corporation. Uh, no major changes to the operation of the store, no structural changes whatsoever. Um, their lease is in order, their financing is in order. Uh, both of these individuals have grown up in the family industry certainly understand the responsibilities that come along with a liquor license. They're both TIP certified. Everybody that operates the store or is employed by the store will be TIP certified as well. Um, so certainly qualified buyers uh, and everything should be in, in pretty good order here. Uh, I am happy to answer any questions that you may have regarding the application and the applicants can as well. So does any member have any questions? I have no questions, Mr. Chairman. No. I, I don't have any. So are we voting to approve the transfer? So I'll yes. entertain a motion. Now, Mr. Chairman, I move that we transfer the liquor license for 44 Liquors Corporation to, is this in the name of a person or a business? No, this would be in the name of a corporation. So yeah, it's 44 Liquors Corp is the name of the corporation. That's who holds it now. Uh, I'm sorry. Why I didn't make the motion. No, it's, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> you're confusing me. No, that, that's the name of the new corporation. So what's the old? So uh, the old corporation is Route 44. Uh, liquors? Hang on. Hang on, just one second. Is it Route 44 Liquors? What's it on the, what is on the license, uh, the current license? Yeah, I'd have to pull it off the purchase over here. Give me one second. It, uh, no, it's uh, Medway Enterprises, Inc., actually. Okay. Yeah, so it's nothing like that. So from Medway Enterprises, Incorporation to 44 Liquors Corporation, right. correct? Correct. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, yes, I'll thank, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Dr. Zagrafis, for that amendment. Thank you. You second on that motion, then? No, I made the motion. Oh, oh, I just heard him make the motion. Can you, I'm sorry, can you just say um, 44 Liquors Corp, DBA, so doing business as 44 Liquors? Excuse sure. me? So it's um, transfer from Medway. Winthrop Enterprises to Who's 44 Liquor. I'm oh, sorry. No, Medway. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, um, 
to 44 Liquors Corp. doing business as 44 Liquors. Uh, first of all, could I, uh, would you remove? Sure, remove? I will, I will. Um, withdraw the second. Rescind my second. And I will withdraw my, my motion. Let's try so it I'm again. So I'm asking for a new motion. <laughs> um, Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the transfer of the liquor license from Medway Enterprises, Enterprises Inc. Incorporated to 44 Liquors Corporation. Second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Oppose, abstains, the ayes have it. And then if we could just get an approval of the pledge of the license as well for the ABCC. There's a pledge of license to Rockland Trust. I'm entertaining a motion to approve the license for the uh, Route 44 Liquor Corporation. Is and there the a name motion? of the, the... It's a pledge of the license to Rockland Trust Company. It's the lender on the loan, but that needs to be approved as well by the town for the... The, the, the license state. becomes an asset that should anything happen, the bank can take it, essentially. That's it's. So it's just approving the pledge of the license to Rockland Trust Company. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Bye. So the update on the town uh, renovations, do we have to wait till seven, uh, Madam Administrator? I don't think so. We, we, we can, I think there's other things on there. Oh, there if so, then I want to go to public input. Is there any public input? Just a question about uh, comment about the Donya incident. You want to come to the... I live in the city comp, but I just wanted to address the board if I can go quick. Come to the microphone, please. Now that the surface is gone. I just want to uh, point out that uh, we just had to address a very serious matter, and... Uh, I just want to be respectful to the uh, Ryan Hazel's family. 100%. I'm James Lamonti from Roman Canine Academy, where we have 10 working dogs, and we've been doing that for a long time. We support your decision 100%, and I know it was a difficult decision. I'm sorry for all that happened in this community, so many from the working dog community. But we're tasked with Wheaton College and Tufts University in our research. If it would be an opportunity to learn from this event, if we would be able to do some behavioral assessments on the dogs prior to them being euthanized. It would be impeccable and important for us to be able to gather that information, especially where you have adolescents and juveniles for our research that we do. I'm not sure that's a decision that we want to, uh, a permission that we want to give, quite frankly. Uh, Mr. Chairman, my concern is that under public input, a major agenda item has been put forth, and I am not comfortable voting on this tonight. I don't know enough about uh, this type of research, and um, other than hearing the request, I, I'm, I just can't vote on this tonight. I feel the same. I understand what you're asking. What I'm saying is that we can gather from, from our expertise, we look at it, it's not something that takes months to do. It can be done within a very short period of time, but it gives, us, it gives us the information that we can gather from the behavior of the dogs and then move forward with other things that could very well potentially alleviate problems in the future. So it's something that would be positive for I, I think we, we voted on a motion tonight, very serious motion, and I would hope that the uh, town acts as quickly as possible. I wouldn't want to delay our decision, quite Fair frankly. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I'll also you. add that the owner is not aware of this, I don't believe. And we already done what we yeah. legally had to do. Yeah. Is there any other uh, I'm public? Sorry. I have nothing else. I'm sorry. I was going to point out that she was recording so that people were aware. <coughs> Okay, let's go into the town administrator's uh, report then, and we'll, we'll be with you at seven if you don't mind. Thank you. Uh, seems rather silly to transfer into, but uh, what we have on the docket tonight is a request to install a crosswalk at Lane Field. Uh, it's come to our attention through the Parks and Rec Committee, so they are in support of it. And I checked with our police chief, who also agrees. Uh, you have in your packet, uh, if you go to the ed, uh, bottom of that email, the cost information on this, which is fairly um, low. 
and we can install that ourselves. So the next step would be to begin a public hearing for those in the area so that they were aware that a crosswalk was going to be installed. We'd hear their public input and then you could vote. And that is if you are in favor of proceeding with that process. So it's here for you today to uh, take it to the next step if that's what you decide to do. So what is the board's position on this? Well, uh, Mr. Chairman, I read um, the email threads and it seems like um, the uh, police chief is in agreement with um, the Parks and Recreation Commission's recommendation, mm -hmm. so I have no, uh, I have no issue with that, with the installation or the, the making of the crossing walk. And I should be clear, I apologize to the public, that it's um, from a parking lot over to where the um, actual playground and field is. I should state that. <laughs> I'm also not opposed to it. So do we have to have a motion in order to have the public hearing then? A motion to? An, an agreement or a motion. I just needed to make sure that the board was. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we uh, proceed with the next steps required uh, in order to uh, gather input to install a crosswalk on the lower end of Main Street from a parking lot south to the lane field. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. abstentions, the ayes have it. Thank you. Um, the John Guilfoyle PR uh, information is here before you with an updated agreement. So I went through that invoice and um, I then broke down for you exactly what we would quote unquote be ordering and the cost of such. And then I broke it down between fire, police, and the town so that you could really see uh, what was before us, what was a one-time cost and what would be what would be continuing year to year. And that the continuing year to year is to pay for the services per month and the uh, security certificates for websites and domain charges, things like that, um, which we already do pay for in other avenues. So um, that is what is before you. I tried to make it clear and simple. And then we have an updated agreement um, with them, I thought, because <coughs> next in the packet is for NetroSpect. So I can get you an updated agreement. You can vote on it next time. But I think Mr. Yeah. Guilfoyle, did show um, what he could do for us yeah. recently. We would just have to change around probably some of the numbers from the agreement. Well, that's what I did. I did update it, but I think ago. I gave the wrong agreement yeah. uh, for your packet. So it, if you are okay with these numbers, then that's what shows up in the Did agreement. you prepare this? The like thing this? that says Guilfoyle PR metrics? Yes, that's me. That's from me. No, this is really good, and it really helped me to see uh, what the costs um, would actually end up breaking okay. out as. Um, in an accurate way, um, mm -hmm. without All the double other. double charging or anything like that. Um, my question would be: uh, Is this in the budget for next year? Uh, for specifically year for this, no. But there's the ability to purchase this. Um, we do have some lines that are funded for things like this. Um, do we already be, have them? You identified? have the. Well, I'm thinking some from mm -hmm. professional technical mm -hmm. and fire, professional technical and police, mm -hmm. and then the selectman's professional technical or my own, uh, my budget, but you have more than me. <laughs> so, so, so we're not asking. I, mean, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I mean, no, no, okay. no. Oh, it's so okay. So we're not asking for more monies. This is no, money that's already are, available, right. and this is how we... You're just choosing to spend them in this to way. Agree, this is how we're right. going to spend the money. And uh, one note that I believe the news portal thing is a separate website, because I looked up at another town and I saw what they did. So we weren't in favor of the town's website being changed mm -hmm. or in any way, because we just spent so much time mm -hmm. perfecting it. So um, it would be an additional website that we would link mm -hmm. to, and it would just have all of our news stuff. And I think that would actually require a domain charge of $30 a year, which is minuscule. Um, I just have one, one additional question, sure. if it's OK. Um, so going forward, does that mean um, that uh, fire would pay for the, their cost out of their own budget? Police would pay for their own cost out of their budget? Is that how that's going to so work going forward? So for this coming year, I, that's what I would request mm -hmm. and um, recommend because they're purchasing things like a website and they're getting started with some social media accounts. So they're actually getting some products started up in the first year. Going forward, I would probably advocate to put this in data processing 
but this first year, because there's one-time charges, mm -hmm. I believe they should come out of their respective okay, budgets because they're paying for products that they're going to use, if that makes sense. And they're okay with that. They understand it's going to come out. I think they want the. I think no, they want yeah. this. So if it comes, yeah. <laughs> they don't like me taking their money, but <laughs> I well, think that makes they want sense this. So. To me, like going forward, that it would come out of a centralized. Because how would you pay for this right. one contract out of these right. three then, or two right. or three and different accounts? That, it's a little confusing. Right, and at I think that time, be confusing it's just the monthly Jen. charge <laughs> the, and the regular um, domain charges yeah. and the security. So that would be a recurring expense that. We do already pay for similar things out of mm -hmm. that same budget. So to me, that makes sense. So for the purpose for the, uh, the town uh, citizens, the total uh, cost for fiscal year 2020 is $24,848, and the recurring costs the following year will be $11,348, and the fire department will pay $7,376, as well as the police department paying the same amount and the selectman's office will pay $10,096 for that first year. Do you have any questions? Uh, and the bulk of that is based upon website creation. Um, so going forward, it would be- Seven thousands of that yeah, money is, exactly. is uh, to create the websites for the mm -hmm. fire and the uh, police department. So the 24,000 for the first year includes the 11,000 that will be, the, the cost will drop to 11,000. Yes. 348 yes. a year. Right, correct. So since the, a board of selectmen account, excuse me, will be used for the news portal charge. Um, does that mean that for this, yep, yep. for this time, for fiscal year for 20, 20 um, does that mean that it will be a general news portal or is this only going to be news from our fire and um, police Oh, departments? no, townwide. Townwide. Okay. So um, the one I actually looked at had a lot of board of selectmen activity on it, um, different videos and things like that. Mm -hmm. So. I, I envision it townwide. I think the Board of Health can get a lot of use out of it because they have quite a few programs going on throughout the year, the rabies clinic, the bulky item pickup week, things like that. So I see this as really a townwide feature. So the library could use this also. I, right. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I forgot the library. I love the library, <laughs> sorry. Will this have any connection to Channel 9 for people that don't have, don't go on the web and don't have computers? Um, but I'm watch sure Channel we 9. can put together bulletins. Um, I know that the cable is really doing, you know, working hard on um, increasing what they can do with their channel. So I'm, I, I don't want to say yes, of course, but I think that they could do that as well. Okay. I don't so, have any further yeah, questions. so we're not going to take any action on this until we get the contract. Okay, is, is that, that correct? Well, so I would actually like you to vote for it, and then um, we, I'll we put this, these figures. Seen, yeah. You've seen the agreement. Yeah. Um, just the numbers. Just the smart. number was off. Right. So this is the number. I double-checked with him if that was the number, and he agreed. And um, so. So these will be the numbers right. that it will be in the right. uh, contract. In the agreement. And then I'm actually going to, this top part that talks about everything we're ordering, I'm going to attach the contract, okay. like a scope, so that. He very checks good. all the boxes, essentially, but uh, I do believe that we would not have done very well over this past uh, couple weeks if he didn't help us. So I do yeah, believe I, it's I, worthwhile. I can attest to that personally, that I've had contact with them, and uh, they've been very helpful to the town. So I'll entertain a motion. I'm happy to um, make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to approve the Guilfoyle Public Relations uh, contract for the a period from July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020 for a total cost for fiscal year 2020 of $24,848. Second. May I just make a request that it's 78 in case that $30 domain kicks in? Because it may have a $30 domain. Oh, I charge. see that. Okay. Um, for a up to a total cost for fiscal year 2020 of $24,878. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? No, I th Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to say I agree with, um, with your assessment um, of the company. I think that um, they really helped the town through mm -hmm. a difficult time, mm -hmm. um, and they made it, you know, a little bit easier to navigate the qu types of questions we were getting and the type of inquiries. Um, so I'm, I'm happy. I think this, um, that was a really, they did an excellent job. Yeah, I agree. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it.
Thank you. Uh, the next is Netrospect. He is our um, network guy who's going to help lead us as we transition from an old company into a new one. Um, last meeting, you had provided some feedback. I took that. I stuck it back into the contract. There's a cap um, on the second page of this agreement, item D, um, stating that additional funding requires authorization. The cap is $5,000 for the year. There's also, um, I added an A of that section that the town shall only pay for work authorized by the town. And um, all travel is part of this contract and no reimbursement will be made. I added those three items. And it will require your approval or designee. I wrote town administrator or her designee because like if Karen is, I trust Karen implicitly. Yeah. So if Karen says, I need you to fix. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I need you to fix this email. Um, yeah, he needs to do it. <laughs> he doesn't trust that as the board, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any questions, uh, no. Mrs. Golan? No. I don't. I appreciate you making the changes. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. And he's been doing. Um, just to give you an update, he's been working on our mail server and putting in the required equipment for that and uh, working with the police department on generating new emails so that they will finally have town related emails addresses right now they're on comcast mm -hmm. it's so just an update yeah. I don't know if I want to ask so we don't want to act on this then no i do want you to act okay. on this yes so i guess before i make a motion sure. mr chairman i did just want to ask so for the sort of techie question yeah. so for the email addresses like you know, I, we all have email addresses like Jim, yep. Stacy. We all have email addresses that are housed by the current vendor. Um, those will sure. be migrated over, yep. and then we'll be able to just yes. Yeah, so we have free our, and delete as we right. we need. So D Day is mm -hmm. um, a date in mid July. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my security sensor is like maybe I shouldn't say that. Uh, <laughs> it's in July. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to do that because it would give us time to transition, save all your emails migrate them over um, and he's given me the steps for that mm -hmm. so I can tell people how to do that and then point the town of Dighton.com address to the new address which will probably be Dighton-MA.gov as your email link there um, and point it and then give us all of the time that we need to tell people who email us regularly hey you know my emails gonna be changing please update your records so we have a, a bit of a transition plan going there but it won't affect service because what I'm no it shouldn't well, because shouldn't. what I'm thinking is is there's a, probably a way to have it set up so that the old email like if someone sends it to it it routes it automatically right. to the new so email that's address. what we're doing but it's also incumbent on us to tell everybody mm -hmm. hey I'm getting a new email and please update your record so what I plan to do once mine's created <coughs> I'm gonna just put it in the bottom as a signature part, you know. Effective this day, my email's yep. changing, please update your records. And we'll make sure and we that's get us the website giving us updated. Sure. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure like services, yeah, sure, no that's way. a main way that people contact us, so. Absolutely. So, I'll entertain a motion. Sure, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve the services slash fee agreement between the town of Dighton Massachusetts and Netrospect as prepared uh, this evening. Second. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstentions, the ayes have it. It also has me as the signatory and I, I you've authorized me for data processing, but um, can't, I'm gonna sign on this. Oh, okay? so we'll Just vote authorize to authorize me. you? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we uh, Authorize uh, Town Administrator Mallory Arenstein to sign the contract to be a signatory to this contract here this there, evening. Is there a second? Um, I'll second it for discussion purposes. Uh, any discussion? Is the town accountant going to accept that? She should. Um, I have that. For, you sign that form that allows. I know, me to process but state law says that the chairman of the board or the full board must sign contracts. That's this has come up before. I just don't want this held up. That's my well, only I concern. I signed another one, so now I'm kind of nervous. But she accepted the other How one. How long ago was that? Recently, it was the email one, because it comes under data processing. It means paid through data processing. It's organized through me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll find out, and if it doesn't, I'll be speaking just with you. Just change the and the, uh, the contract's fine. I would just say if there's any yeah, question, just change yeah. the signature line okay. for the chairman. Okay. Yeah. And then if there, uh, what I'm also thinking, well. 
if that happens, like if it gets booted back, is there any way that to vo avoid a delay that the and chairman could do an executive right. order and then that would come back it to us It doesn't have to be 5th? because I'm getting right now from Selective Board that that's not what's, they have no issue with me doing it unless the town accountant has an issue with me mm -hmm. doing it. And in that, if that's the case, the default will be the chairman anyway. Okay. So that wouldn't require special yeah. designation. So that's right. fine. We would just change this page. So are we amending the motion or we you don't, don't need to? No, it's you don't clear. have to amend. It's that clear was just yeah. a contingency so it won't be held up. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. Before you complete your report, I would like to go to the- Absolutely, uh, I know we're at seven. Seven, seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna provide us with an update on the res renovations? I have some paperwork for you, and I apologize for it not being part of your packet. <clears throat> but office man has been on vacation, so <laughs> are you doing your own copies? <laughs> I don't have a cat program, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We can print this out. We can't print out a CAD file mm -hmm. very well. Thank you. So this is the basement. Uh, this is the lower floor. level of yep. town hall, yep. yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, good evening board, good evening Dighton. Hello everyone. So what you're looking at is basically the, <clears throat> excuse me, the meeting room area, the lower level of town hall. And as we discussed previously, we're looking to reconfigure the downstairs area. The town administrator and I talked about the logistics and we agreed that um, doing something with the reading room <coughs> to actually make it an inviting space um, as well as accommodate some of the cables requests and a problem that I see with the food bank. Um, we can do that first and we can do that almost immediately. I, I, I'll let the town administrator talk about funding sources but it looks like it's something that we could do fairly quickly. So basically um, what you're looking at the dashed lines <coughs> are the proposed walls that would be constructed um, cable, and, and this will uh, lead to Mrs. Uh, selectman Gulat's point about um, something said earlier. Cable actually wants to expand for several reasons, but most importantly, they want to put a studio in. They want to put a studio in so they can produce uh, public relations uh, videos, things of that nature. So I think it would go along with what selectman Gulat said earlier about getting things out to people who don't have the electronics or who are tech savvy. So. Cable has that mindset, so I know that this will be utilized probably on many fronts. So in order to do that, they have to absorb the current conservation area, and we have to create a new space for them, which is depicted here by that dashed line. The food bank uh, obviously needs space. I think they need secured space. And we would do that by creating their own um, secured room towards the back of the meeting room. That would also incorporate the two closets that they currently occupy. And what I plan to do there is actually remove some of the walls in that area so they're not closets anymore. It's just one large room. By doing that, we're going to reduce the size of the meeting room to about 25 to 30 persons. From it, It's right now, it's slightly in excess of 40. Uh, but as we also discussed, we have a very large venue next door where if someone had, or a board had a meeting, public hearing that would exceed that, we have the space on campus. So all that said, how would we transform the space in addition to uh, reconfiguring it? We would put in new carpeting, we would put in new ceiling tiles, and we would also put in new high efficiency LED lighting. And one of the town administrator's um, <coughs> sticking points was the configuration of the table for the, for the actual board members or committee members. So I've seen a similar table like I depicted on the, on the plan, which gives you know, more focus to each other so board members can converse one another without leaning across the table. Plus it just, the level of professionalism has escalated. So what's that all gonna cost? So we did get some cost estimates and we can do all of that in this particular area of the building, which would include some fresh painting for around $10,000. It might be slightly in excess of that, but uh, right around that number. And we would use mostly in-house labor for that. The carpeting contract, it would be a contract known to us. Um, and then of course the town electrician would be leaned on heavily for the electrical portion of it. <clears throat> I would also as part of that like to freshen up that entrance on, the, uh, on that side. 
Uh, right now it looks too industrial. I, I look at it and I don't want to walk out it. So I think by doing that we would paint the floors, paint the walls, make it so that people would want to utilize it. So I think what it would do is it would create a more efficient space, it would create a more effective space, um, and I think board members and committees would actually want to meet in that room, which is ultimately what we're after. Um, and then once this is done, we can talk further about the reallocation of space in the remaining part of the lower level, but I think it should be phased, um, both for monetary concerns and for logistics concerns, so. Speaking of, oh, I'm sorry. Is this north? Is this, this? It is. Oh, it is. So down, so, yes. okay, so this is the intersection where the hall comes in. More or less. And then the, this continues down past the yeah. storage. Right. Okay, all right. right, thank you. Yeah. When you see those little dashed lines on the right side of your page, that just means a continuation. Mm -hmm. This plan keeps going. I just didn't feel the need to do uh, that. No, and you had, yeah. you had right. explained the other half of the plan. Right. So which plan, so I, I understand why it's gonna be done in phases, but what's the first phase gonna be? This. The meeting room. The meeting room. And a point of the cable. But how does that help the people who are cramped in an office? So, yeah. so we've got the money right now to do this if you approve it. We're waiting on your approval. We can take care of this um, and he can get started. I would like the meeting room done, moving the ZBA over back into the meeting room temporarily while construction goes on for the, not, I shouldn't call it construction, but the other part of the office phase two goes on and then conservation can be moved over there so that we can figure out the cable situation. To me, cable's phase three, but phase one right now is the meeting room. Phase two is the additional office space, which I think you're speaking about. We would finish that room first and then in the next fiscal year, take care of. Uh, is that because that's gonna be more expensive? I'm just confused so why no. it's being prioritized. Actually, like it's, it's a little deeper than that. When you look at things from a logistic perspective, Right now, we have two boards meeting in their own rooms currently. In order to get into those rooms to do the construction that I need to do, they need to have a functional space. Now, I understand that that space can be used in its current state. The problem is once I create the office space and they have to meet in there, I now can't renovate that space because it's being used all the time. So right now, the only way that meeting gets, room gets, gets used is when next door is double booked. So right now I have almost a vacant space that I can work on without much interruption. Mm -hmm. And then once that's used in earnest by the committees and boards, I now have the offices void of meeting spaces, which I now can renovate and not worry about the logistics. So it's multi-layered, the, the money is part of it, but logistics is a bigger part of it to try to keep things running while it's going on. To, to answer your question about the, 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 mm -hmm. the problem, we fully intend, we being the town administrator and I, if you approve this tonight, come July 1st, I'm gonna move on to the office areas. So this is not like there's gonna be a long delay between mm -hmm. this and the next part mm -hmm. of it. It's all gonna roll in right. within the next few months. It's just that I feel this should be the first thing that could, should be done, mm -hmm. so. And we also have another budget. We had some savings in insurance for one of the insurances this past fiscal year. So there's a, some money that can be moved over to public buildings as well. If he happens to be early, that, that we can get started um, on the office space too. So, right, I don't want you to think there's gonna be some sort of oh, no, long no. delay. I, I'm, I'm not thinking um, anything. Yeah. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just okay, asking because no, I, I really don't, I knew it was gonna be phased. I just wasn't sure how it was gonna be prioritized. So how long are you thinking that what we're gonna call phase one should take? And I, I, I'm not gonna hold anyone you know, to it, just like off the top of our Well, because our we heads. have funds available in this fiscal year, uh, the crack is gonna get whipped to get it done so we can use those funds. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I plan to get it done um, basically during the month of June. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I do like this uh, plan. I'm glad that the uh, food bank has an area that they can secure the, uh, the food. Uh, do you think there's gonna be ample room there when they do have their monthly uh, food banks for the public? So I did speak with one of the Lions members about that and they didn't seem to have a concern with it because if you, if you look at what they have right now, the shelving basically. and whatnot, it's basically exactly where I'm putting it. I'm just gonna move it <laughs> yeah. you know, perpendicular to where it is now. 
So to answer your question, the feedback I got, which I did look out to them, Good. Uh, I didn't act uh, arbitrarily and solely, they, they agreed that it, would, it should work, so. I, I do understand why you have to do this in fa uh, phases, and uh, I think it's a good plan. Mm -hmm. Is there any other further no, discussion? No, I thank them for answering our questions. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we uh, give permission for this project as described uh, to move forward this fiscal year. Second. Should there be a cost on this, though, up to $10,000? Well, he said it might be more, so. Can yeah. you give if us, you're, like, if you're 15? Gonna, <laughs> yeah, if you put a ceiling on it, I would ask for at least you know, 12, maybe 12 to 14. I, I, I like having a tight number to go by because it forces me to try and meet it. Um, but I certainly don't want to be a thousand dollars short and not be able to finish the project. Yes, so. no, I understand. Yeah. Um, uh, you willing to so, amend? So um, let me add to that. Um, so we'll, we'll move forward with the project this year with costs not to exceed fourteen thousand dollars. I will second that, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion? Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Yep. If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for always figuring it out, Jim. <laughs> Good. We have more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Math core. They're going to build it for us. <laughs> so we could uh, return to the town administrator's report. Um, okay. Thank you. Speaking of buying things, um, hold on. I'm locked out. I apologize. This is my first time using the iPhone. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good night. Um, night. Our public purchasing group consortium, uh, we're at it again. So we have office supplies, paper, and DPW supplies that have uh, come up for renewal. They went out to bid. Um, <coughs> sadly, we only got one bid for paper, and there were multiple people, multiple, like 15 that did take out the document, so it's a little bit of a bummer that we're only getting one again. It is WB Mason, they basically have a lock on the market. Um, so prices have gone up a little bit, um, but we're doing our part. I've, I've gone electronic here, so. <laughs> um, so that's on paper. Office supplies are also going to go up slightly, but this is a trend that we've found. We've done a five-year look back as a group, and we found that it's a, the first year would be a high, higher percentage, then they drop to a lower percentage, then they go to a higher percentage and drop to a lower percentage. So um, this is the lower percentage off, and it's around, um, I want to say, 61.9%. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, WB Mason also. And then DPW Supplies, this is a variety of items, um, so I would ask that you would vote per, as presented. Um, our highway superintendent, thank you, uh, Mr. Ferry, he very much goes to, he goes to every meeting uh, and weighs in and talks about uh, what the needs are as the bids come in. And uh, I thank him for his dedication to this, but he's approved of what came in for the bids. And they vote on that as a group, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions? Yeah, I just had a basic question. So you had said um, that the price went up, so I, I have no, um, issue with that because that's how things work. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what you mean is, or I guess I'm just going to ask you to clarify, it's still less than we would pay right. if oh. we're not in Sursage. Yes. Yeah. So the benefit to being in Sursage, mm -hmm. not only do, you know, Mora does all the work. She does, I mean, I'm not doing it, Tom's mm -hmm. not doing it. Um, so that's a savings, but it's a group of 23 communities. So the idea is that we pool our resources at, in the sense of bulk ordering and we get a better price. Um, I am happy to report that Lopes is a continual winner of these bids. So G um, we do work with him still. Mm -hmm. um, so it's between Lopes really and TL Edwards are our two big companies, but. Thank you, Mr. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. So I hope we don't have to vote on each individual one. We no, can you can all, vote you know, um, as presented. Office supplies, paper, and yeah. DPW supplies as noted, as presented. Right, and it's right here on your contract award. And you would just sign this if you vote favorably. So, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we award the contracts for office supplies, paper, and Department of Public Works supplies as presented tonight through the Sursage contracts. Second. Any further discussion? 
If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. There's no old business. I have, uh, I have one question for us. So these are the chairman and, and all of do you. we have to sign? Yes, this it's one? a majority, all, all of you, yes. So we sign all of them? Yes. Okay, thank you, sorry. Okay, sure. So we're gonna go to new business 7B, release of uh, chapter 61A, land on William Street. Okay. So we received a uh, letter from the office manager of the planning board. Uh, please be advised on May 1st, 2019, uh, the planning board voted unanimously to recommend that the board of selectmen waive the right of right refusal uh, for property referenced above. It's 1420 and 1522 William Street, Map 11, uh, lots A through a through L, is that, well, it wouldn't be one, A through one, and nine, chapter 61 lots. Um, and we've got a, uh, another letter regarding that. So, any questions before we no, it have seems a motion? Like the Board of Assessors yep. and the um, Planning Board is in agreement, so mm -hmm. I have no issues. Did we hear from the Conservation Commission? There are, so we um, struggle with getting things in writing from them, um, but you can make the decision without it, I think. I don't believe there's any conservation is. And also the developers here, uh, if you had any questions, but it seems pretty straightforward. May I, may I ask a procedural question? Yep. When someone is recording from the audience, they're supposed they to get They are supposed to get chairman, permission from correct? the chair and seek uh, yeah, prior. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not opposed to I mean, to we're it. already yeah. recording, yeah. but yeah. you do have to seek permission yeah. so that everybody I'm else is aware that you're recording. It's yeah. a I'm notification I'm thing. I'm not opposed to it. It's just that we need to be notified of your beforehand. Sure. So. So, I'll hear a motion on this. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we waive the right of first refusal for 1420 and 1522 William Street, Map 11, lots 8 through 1 and 9 from Chapter 61A. Second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. Review, uh, item C, uh, review proposals and vote to approve. Thank you. Uh, to, to approve the national security, number one, national security for door locking systems at Old Town Hall. So this is to install basically the same system we have here at Town Hall. And uh, also money, there's money in the budget. It's good to go and we're just waiting on your vote. What is, uh, actually I'm not gonna ask that. Um, will, will we, also have access to that building? The Board of Selectmen, will you have access to that? How is this gonna work? And I'm oh, not opposed oh, to Oh, for it. like special? For the code, are like we gonna know? In? Or is it gonna be the same code for this building? I, I, don't, I, know, I, I don't know what we should and shouldn't talk about because it's the security <laughs> of the building. We can talk about this, yes. yes. No, so I'm in agreement. I think that certain folks should be able to have access. Um, however, I don't know about meeting space because it's not like, I mean, they lock up their stuff, but they, there's not walls and doors for the different offices, so um, downstairs on the lower level. But I think Jim and I have talked about it, and I think the idea is that my hope is that the key card that works here works over there, okay. so we're not giving everybody new cards, and you have to know which one, you know, you have to know to use this one yep. for old time. That would just be a nightmare. Um, but people who want to vis use the facility for meetings can do that, and whoever, you know, wherever their meeting is. So that's the hope, that's the plan. No, I think, yeah. I think, um, Mr. Chairman, makes sense. I think that's a, just my personal opinion, I think that's a good plan and I think that provides a continuity between um, our two buildings and, mm -hmm. and the people who know, you know, the security measures to gain access to the right. building in off hours are p usually individuals who are either employees or they are members of a board or committee. And using it for no a, a purpose, right. Mm -hmm. No further questions. Do you have any questions, Ms. I'll entertain a motion then to approve this contract. Mr. Chairman, I move that we award the contract to provide a security system for the Old Town Hall to National Security Fire Alarm Systems at a price of $3,825 as submitted. Is there a second? I'm gonna second that, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Oppose, abstention, the ayes have it. Good work. Thank, it's Thank you. all Jim. Thank you, Jim and Karen. And my question was going to be, by the way, Madam Administrator, <laughs> going to be what is the current security system, but we'll talk later. 
what is the current, what yeah. do you mean the yeah, price? We're not discussing that right now, so we're oh, going to go okay. to cleaning oh, services, see, old town hall, uh, town hall, and the library. So we went out to, I have a memo in here for you, we went out to bid, or excuse me, we solicited quotes, because the price there is quotes. And with the new police station, um, we separated that. Pr previously, it was all one contract. It was police, fire, old town hall, town hall. Well, now that old town hall is being used normally, like it's intended to, and the police station has tripled in size, um, we've made some changes to this, and we went out separately for the police station. So the first one is for just Old Town Hall, Town Hall, and the library. Um, we only got one bidder. It is what it is. Uh, costs are basically the same, um, still pretty low. For those three buildings, it's $945 a month with a total contract award of 11220 and then I don't know if you want to do this in two motions, so I'll just tell you the police station. They're going to be cleaned five days a week, and uh, that's a total contract award of $16,500 with uh, $1,375 per month. And they also have some special considerations, so it makes sense to keep them separate just for access and things like that. But I do recommend that um, these contracts be awarded to M&S Cleaning Services. How do these get paid currently? Is this out yep. of the individual department's line item? It is right now, and then you voted for the coming fiscal year that everything go into public buildings and, okay. and properties. Okay. However, Enjoy. the one that stayed, mm -hmm. the police, because we just didn't know what was going on with yeah. that, because it's new. So mm -hmm. that may be um, amended in future years, but for this coming year, the contract for the three buildings is going to be um, paid out of public buildings, and the contract for the police will be paid out of the police. So, what is the name of the company then? MNS Services. MNS. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I didn't put that in my memo. I'm sorry. I know, you know I, why? I know it's, it's because okay. there was just one, and I was like, oh yeah, they get it's it. The I, same, I apologize. It's the same as we're currently yeah, MNS Cleaning Services. Do you have any questions, Ms. Gwilin? No, I'm ready to make a motion. I'll entertain that motion. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I move that we award the contract for cleaning services for the town hall, the old town hall, and the library to MS Cleaning Services at a total contract cost of $11,220 for FY20. Second. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we uh, approve the contract for cleaning services for the police station um, to MS services uh, at a contract total contract amount of sixteen thousand five hundred dollars for fiscal year 2020. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. Item C4. Award bid for animal shelter roof. We received three quotes for our roof project on the animal shelter, and um, we, the lowest bidder is at $11,340, $11, um, which is just $160 less than the next bidder. And I say that because I'm totally amazed that it came that close. Um, but I am recommending that it be awarded to Trans Global Construction, LLC. Uh, they are a reputable um, company and they're of North Providence. They've done work in Dighton before. The building inspector, who I did consult with uh, prior to this evening about this project, uh, is, is on board with this group receiving the award. I have no questions, Mr. Chairman. Any questions? Uh, just uh, the 11340, I noticed that there are some right. small, mm, yes. he. He did this base bid with alternates thing. We did not request it that way. Um, in a conversation with him, because he was the low bidder, I said, what's going on? <laughs> what are you quoting me at? And he told me that that first alternate, the $440 thing, uh, basically is necessary so that the roof doesn't collapse. Um, important. Yep. Uh, so I added that together to his base bid. I, n I found that he was still the low bidder and agreed Okay, okay so that's what we would order, even essentially, if it was. Go ahead. Even okay. with both of the alternates, still the lowest bidder? No, just the first alternate. Okay. Um, just the first alternate at 440. Four, four gotcha, thank you. Yes. Okay, Ms. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what a protection board is. So, did he? 
we don't, and the building commissioner weighed in on this because I, you know, I don't know all the roofing lingo, but he said that, that he understands why this roofer is doing that. It makes sense. However, for what this building is, we're not going to need that. Um, it's two trailers. Okay. I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, uh, I make a motion that we award the contract to install uh, a roof on the animal shelter slash modular buildings uh, to Trans Global Construction out of North Providence in a total amount of eleven thousand three hundred uh, and forty dollars for the base bid and alternate number one. Second. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. You're not going to have a leaking roof. I want you to know it's going to work. I just. <laughs> Item D on the new business, vote on vacation, carryover request. There's been new, uh, numerous employees that have requested that they have vacation time up to two weeks to be carried over mm -hmm. till next uh, fiscal year. So I will entertain a motion. Can Do you I, have that list? Yeah, yeah, I have a list, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Um, just a procedural question. Is it okay if I go through the list and then just list who it is and how much? Time it is? Is that the yes. intent this the, evening? The only person, you mm -hmm. can do a blanket motion. Yep. There's one person this, needs to be yep. separate. Okay. Gotcha. Are, are they all two weeks though? No. No? No. Okay. So um, just, okay. Yep. Some people have. That's um, why I wanted to specify. Like I'm looking right now at one employee mm -hmm. and it's 70 hours. Correct. Not the, so, one, oh no, that's two weeks for her. 103. Yeah. yeah. So there are but You had your motion saying mm -hmm. um, approve up to two weeks for, and you listed. That's okay. Up to. Up to two weeks. Okay. So we can't, we're not going to do more than that uh, with the exception of the last person then. Is that correct? We're not going to do more than that. Well, we're, we're not going to oh, approve yes, more yes. than two well, weeks. That person's going to be dealt with separately. Yeah, right. So but you're dealing with everybody it's else. It's up to two yes. weeks of vacation. Right. And okay. this so separate one would be up to two weeks, I think, Mr. Chairman, and plus three, three days. Three days, yes. yes. And I'll t well, I'm going to talk about okay. that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, just so everyone's wondering mm -hmm. why we're doing this, this is contractual obligations with our collective bargaining agreement. Agreements. Plural. Plural. <laughs> Thank you. Accepting motion, Mr. Yes, Chairman? Yes, I am. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to make a motion to approve the vacation request uh, for up to two weeks uh, <coughs> to carry over vacation time from uh, fiscal year 19 to fiscal year 2020 for the following uh, employees Rosalind Grassi, Todd Pilling, Nicole Skylison. Christopher McGee, Nancy Pinto, Kerry Easterday, Linda McCarran, Britt Grealish Russ, Lisa Tetro, Paul Reed, Teresa Costa, Diane Curtis, Valerie Wilson, <coughs> Laurie Van Hook, Rebecca Moss, and Christina Franca. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Yeah, we have some, I know I realize the motion's up to two weeks. So is the plan to pay them if they don't take the hours? They don't take the vacation time before June 30th. Is the plan to pay them for the overage beyond two weeks? Is the plan to pay them for the overage? In no. other words, if I work 40 hours a week and um, I'm requesting I carry over 100 hours, I was just told I can carry over two weeks, 80 hours. 80. So the remaining Forfeit. hours. Forfeited, no, unless no. you take it. No, no, it's an earned benefit. You can't forfeit it. It says it in the contract that it's forfeited based upon that. So you have you to take it. And you can only carry over two weeks. Otherwise, everybody would be asking for right. the, the monies. It specifically says it's not cumulative. I'm, I'm not worried about cumulative. When did the labor laws change? I'm not talking well, the contract. I'm talking labor law. Mm. That's what my concern is. What did you just we say? You're not talking about labor laws? No, right, right. Okay. We had a similar situation, um, and um, an individual got an attorney involved, and we were told that vacation is an earned benefit, and you either use it, and up to this carryover two weeks, that could be done, but that you don't forfeit vacation, so you have to pay it. I actually don't know that to be correct, but I don't, I mean, I'll research that. It's, in my experience has always been vacation renews on the next fiscal year, so you use it or lose it um, by a certain time. Like you have a deadline to use it. And my 
May I? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was just going to say outside, yeah. outside the public sector, I have some experience where you know you you use it or lose it by a deadline. I mean, it's not fiscal year; it's it's by <coughs> a deadline. Oh, excuse me. Um, and where we give the the benefit and we are clear, this is not cumulative, and this is when you can take it. I'm not sure that that. Um, and we allow and we allow them to. I mean, I think this is generous enough. We allow them two weeks, um, and then a couple of unions even more. So I. I'm not sure. This two weeks came about as a result of that situation I'm describing. All right. I, can I ask you a question sense. about that, Madam Administrator? Mm -hmm. So it seems like, to Selectman Goulart's point, that up to two weeks would be okay for everyone on the list except for the Board of Health office manager who requested 103 hours of vacation time. So I guess I just want to know before I vote on this, and, and I'm just asking like procedurally what's going to happen, what happens to that extra 23 hours of vacation She has time? to use it or she forfeits it. She has to use it in 2019. Right. right. Your contract specified. You must 30th. use this in the current fiscal year right. that it is earned. Like that's the, because every, you earn vacation time based on longevity. So you hit your anniversary and you're like, oh, I got, you know, an extra week or whatever, which we'll be talking about very soon in the next item. Correct. So it's based upon your years in, and you earn it based upon fiscal year. So I, I will certainly look into that because that's a liability I for the town. You, I'll give you more detail. Yeah, um, absolutely. But I do believe that you're very much up front with how vacation works in the town of Diane. I believe you're correct. Any further discussion on this motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Oppose, abstention, the ayes have it. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if you're still entertaining motions, I make a motion uh, that we approve the vacation carryover request um, from Sergeant Sean Cronin, um, and the request is for two weeks plus three days uh, of carryover into fiscal year 2020. Is there a second? Second. Is that correct? Any discussion? I just want to say How that. How do we deal oh. with this one? So per the union contract, the police union contract of which this employee is a part of, uh, they are allowed to request an additional. Um, so what they get is by right, the, the police chief can say, yep, you can carry over your two weeks. Anything above that, they come to you for a request. So he, these three hours, is, or three days, I'm sorry. The three days is what he's... Um, requesting truly from you. This is his letter. And that type of language is not yeah. included in the other CBA, which is correct. why. Okay. Correct. Okay. I'm just making yeah. sure. No, we... no, that's fine. Okay. I, <laughs> I have read these over and over today. I, I um. totally trust you. For myself, <laughs> yes. I just wanted to, no, absolutely. to understand because usually it's we, confusing. we get two weeks or less right. of carryover. Right. So I think we got a second on that motion. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. Next item, a request by members of the police department for recognition of time. So we've- Okay, uh, this is, oh, yep. I'm sorry. Nope. Okay, um, way back when, when we hired Lisa Tetro, she came from Berkeley with some significant experience. Um, you had hired her and agreed to start her and recognize five years of municipal service because she did the same position um, in another town and we recognize the value in not having to train somebody from scratch R really is is what that is all about so she came in because of that vote um, some police officers are looking for the same sort of benefit this is something that did come up during negotiations there is language in the contract that says that this would be examined on a case-by-case -case basis for the purposes of vacation. Now, I think it's very clear we're very generous with our vacation, something that I'm going to look at in the next you know, cycles of negotiations. Um, however, they want to be recognized. The, there are three individuals. They were all hired before this new language in the contract was accepted by both parties and voted on. They are looking for um, recognition of service with outside police departments, not our police department. There are some, there's some history here with 
multiple unions where provisions about recognizing years served, even with the town of Dighton, have bounced in and out of contracts for longevity purposes, but they stuck around for vacation. So if you, there's, a, there's an employee that provided, not on this list, that provided service to the town as a reserve police officer, pretty significant service actually. And when he was placed on the department as full time, he didn't get recognized for his reserve service. I would just ask if you do vote this, that we be fair across the board and extend it to other people as well. Um, to me, if you're recognizing time served outside of, a com of this community, reserve time should be recognized. Um, time is time, I mean, it just sort of doesn't reconcile with me if you're gonna recognize outside of town of Dighton service and not town of Dighton service. So that being said, Patrolman Barrow, so Patrolman McGann also have service with the town of Dighton. However, I think they came in at a time when the contract <coughs> did not preclude the reserve service. So this is very confusing, which is why it's before you because I can't do it by myself. Um, <laughs> I need you to weigh in on whether or not you want to recognize. Um, the, Officer McGann has specifically showed you that he, you know, how these three individuals will be receiving vacation. The most significant is Patrolman McGovern, mm -hmm. and I will say that he has about 10 years of service with another community. So that's pretty substantial. Um, the experience is valuable. We, I don't believe, had to pay to go to the academy for that, so that's some savings to the town. However, I don't, I don't know how you feel about this. Um, I kind of bounce back and forth on both sides but I wanna be fair and consistent. So I, on this one, I just don't really know how to be fair and consistent due to all of the nuances surrounding it. Mr. Chairman, I, I agree with the town administrator. Um, I guess I don't, I just hope that whatever we decide that we will avoid complaints of, and, and these are, there are not currently complaints, I'm saying future complaints or possible complaints of inconsistency or unfairness so I just think we need and I, I'm not even saying that Miss Tetro when she was hired that that was a precedent but I think yes going now that it. this is the second time this has been raised I just think we need to before we vote tonight think about how we want to take this going forward because now this is the second vote and it's kind of yeah, like <laughs> well this is like that determining factor like I, there's another employee I can think of right now that would potentially be um, I mean we maybe not I mean maybe if the stipulation is that the service has to be exact um, like assessing office to assessing office for example police officer to police officer but where there's been various votes and cases of recognizing town time, town of Dighton time and not, I, I just, we need to set some sort of standard and it can start today. It can be a standard that starts today. Um, reconciling with different bargaining agreements over the years. So, I mean, it is confusing. I apologize. No, I don't, I don't think this is that confusing, Madam Administrator. I think it's quite clear from <laughs> what was prepared this evening that they were full-time in their previous respective towns, and then they were here in Dighton full-time. Miss Tetro was full-time in Berkeley in her current right. role, in that role, previous right. role in the assessor's office there, and now she's full-time in Dighton. That's, a, that's comparing apples to apples. Oranges well, and then oranges. I just want you to be aware of this reserve time question mm -hmm. and basically make a decision on that, or just give me some guidance on where we sit there, so. Um, I mean, do you have any questions? Well, in regards to the reserve time, a reserve officer, they're not working full time though, are they? No, no, they fill so in. How, so how does that, how do we determine how much time we're right. going to give so them credit? Right, so we, we talked about this at the, t at the table for negotiations and we came up with um, half. So if you were a reserve officer for 10 years, you'd be recognized for five years. But that's for you know anybody hired after that agreement was instated. So that's July 1, 2018, um, because it is you know time is time. We we're going to recognize that. Mm -hmm. But to your but we just cut it in half because it yeah. would be part time. It would be not full time. Right. But a small department like ours, we do rely on a reserve force. We use them all the time, yeah. and then they do details. Um, and isn't that kind of like the fire department equivalent of like on call? 
Right. However, we do use mm -hmm. our fire. Well, actually, I don't even know if that's true. I was going to say I'm we just use them to more, think but of yeah, it's what this applies right. to in the other departments. So that if, if we get yeah. other requests right. going forward, that we're not we're not surprised. So if that's and so here's my recommendation. We specifically focus on what they're asking for Correct. for um, the outside service. That's what I'm going to categorize it at. Outside service. And I I do agree with uh, their, what they're requesting. They're coming from a police department to our police department. All three towns border Dighton, uh, so they have a familiarity with uh, with Dighton. So I, I support this. Uh, we'll see if any other cases come up in the future. But I, right. as far as and these three here, if you were specific in saying that it's recognizing very similar duties, that's what we did with Mrs. Tetro. Ms. Tetro, Correct. we were very um, we were making the decision based upon the realization that assessing is not, you know, not you can't just walk in and be an assessor and know what's going on. So um, recognizing the, the skill that goes along with it and the very um, nuanced information so, that she has. So when we say serve full time with Rehoboth Police, Somerset Police, Berkeley Police, we're talking as a police officer. Correct. Okay. Full time police patrolman. In the same patrolman. role, Madam Administrator, correct? Yeah, that's what I'm Right, I'm at, patrolman. Yeah. And, I and Barros was a reserve here mm -hmm. and uh, came back. He was, yeah, I remember that. Um, and I do just want to make one quick remark. I have no further questions, Mr. Chairman. Um, for example, Patrolman McGovern, if the board voted um, in favor of this request, would, would get an additional five days of vacation. However, to the, the town administrator's point, um, I'm just thinking that that's probably worth less that five days of vacation than getting someone who has that many years of experience. We didn't have to train someone. We didn't have to Senator invest Academy. all those mm -hmm. time and resources. Um, so that's why I'm supportive of the request this evening. I agree. Mrs. Gold? Oh. No, Mrs. Gold, is, do you have is any vacation questions? the only benefit we're talking about? In this case, yes. So, because I'm thinking, you know, when you talk about if somebody's a reserve, you give them half time. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think you're probably aware of this. Um, the whole formula for recognition of service at the uh, public retirement level has changed, and there's a formula now, so that it's based on hours per year. Mm -hmm. So that was my concern that um, down the road, this really has no reflection on retirement benefits. It's only relative to vacation, where they would be placed on the list for vacation when they come through the door. In other words, if you come through the door and you've got these years of experience as a, I'll use police officer, mm -hmm. and you come here as a police officer, instead of starting out at the very bottom, you would have something, you would have something. For vacation. Yes. So, and we have agreed that it would be looked at and examined on a case-by-case -case basis. So if they're like from California, no offense, no offense to California, but maybe they're not as familiar with Massachusetts laws, we might not recognize that service. So we wanted it to be case by case to protect the town's interest in case that we wouldn't be locked into anything. So you, it still comes before you. They don't just walk in the door and get it. It would still be a decision made before you. I don't have a problem with uh, a Mrs. Tetro or what's presented here this, tonight. However, I am not comfortable with case by case basis in the future. I think we need a policy. Mm -hmm. I think it should be based on, well, for example, um, I remember the discussion. I was at maximum benefit when I went from Dighton Rehoboth to the University of Massachusetts. And instead of starting out at the very minimum as a new person at UMass, they gave me four weeks. They recognized my uh, service in the public schools mm -hmm. and I had four weeks. So, so uh, this is sort of what happened to me. Right. But the university has a policy about that. So I think uh, all I'm saying is that. I think we need yeah. to do something to protect the town or else we'll have. So uh, I guess that's why I'm here. I, I need to know how you feel. Yeah. And then I can put pen to paper and put something yeah. together. So which that is we come up with something fair yeah. that, right. that no one will say, well, so-and-so got it, but this one didn't get it. But that's my only point. Right. No, and I, it's a good one, and I agree with it. I think to your point though, Selectman Goulart, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, when we were considering Ms. Tetro, 
we also considered, I believe it was vacation time, of course, but it was also like what she came in as in terms of a grade. You I know that there are yeah. differences between the two CBAs, right? Mm -hmm. They're not, it's not apples to apples, but um, I think her, uh, Selectman Goulart's question, correct me if I'm wrong, was, does this affect anything else? So I, I think thinking, it did in that one oh, case. No, not in the wage, all right, yeah, and I, and I know that. Mm -hmm. I, and that's why I'm specifically looking at vacation mm -hmm. because, um, as I mentioned to the chairman, when it comes to other benefits that are covered under Chapter 32B, like retirement, mm -hmm. and how you figure out creditable years of service, they have a revised mm -hmm. formula for all of that. And, and their years know. of service are recognized by, just like my years outside of Dayton are recognized, but right. I, you know. But if you're not a full-time person, it's, you don't get a full year if you don't put in Right. You don't work full-time. They but were full-time right. here. So that's yeah, why I'm okay. not questioning that. Okay. That's what I wanted to make clear. Sorry. Vacation future, answers the question. Weekend. Okay. Exactly. So yep. how does this impact the seniority now in the town? It doesn't. This is only recognition for or vacation. vacation. Or this or is why it doesn't really make sense to me because time is time if you're going to recognize it for one. But vacation, this is what they're asking mm -hmm. for. This is what the, the contract has laid out because it's a, an issue. So you're recognizing their their service for vacation purposes only tonight. I, I just wanted to say before we take a vote, Mr. Chairman, I agree with um, Selectman Goulart's request, if you will, to have a policy mm -hmm. because my thoughts are that policy will go to the policy review board. They have representation mm -hmm. from all the CBAs mm -hmm. and the CBAs have different things in them. Yep. Um, so I think that this is probably a good thing going forward. So I appreciate that request, Selectman Goulart. Right. And we won't have to start from scratch. Built, I'm sure we'll find a policy out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Already found yeah, it. Northampton or Northfield. <laughs> so I'm um, entertaining. Yes, I am. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to make a motion uh, that we approve <clears throat> the three requests pursuant to vacation time as prepared uh, in this April 22nd, 2019 uh, letter from the Dighton Police Officers, Mass COP Local 306. Second. Any further discussion? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Just for the record, I want to state that Jason McGovern is my grand nephew. And if he were the only person listed here, I would not vote on this tonight. But since it includes other employees, I will vote on this. Thanks for acknowledging that. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. I have uh, one more request on that. Due to the fact that Patrol McGovern, McGovern will now have five additional days and not that much time to use it, would you grant him the ability to use those five days in the next fiscal year if he cannot use Could them? Could we just do him part of that blanket um, up to two weeks? Yeah, I'm sorry, five days. I'm like, just in five, case, I don't know yeah. how much time he has. And I don't know if he's got any head. vacation scheduled. Yeah. I don't, so. Yeah, he may take the next five days off for all we know. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> sorry, Jason. <laughs> I just gave you a vacation. <laughs> Are you entertaining? <laughs> yes, I am. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman uh, I'm going to make a motion to allow uh, Patrolman Jason McGovern, if he so chooses, to carry over uh, up to two weeks of vacation time from 2019 uh, into fiscal year 2020. I'm going to so, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to step down <laughs> and uh, second this motion. Under discussion, I am not. I'm going to abstain <laughs> on this because he is my grand nephew. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Abstention. The ayes have it. Thank you. One abstention. Yep. One abstention. I'm sorry. For the record. One abstention. <laughs> Item F on the new business, approval of completed field use application for the Cowship uh, Festival. What would happen if we said no? Right? They'd have it anyway. Ooh. And they already sell <laughs> those tickets. You'd have a lot of disappointed campers, <laughs> I yes. guess. Yeah. And, and we'd have angry cows out right. on the <laughs> Yes. But, they but on the other hand, I wouldn't have to judge who the Are you a judge? judge this I'm yes. a judge. I asked Ed, actually, to be a judge. <laughs> Is that why you didn't ask anyone? It's usually the person who gets elected. I was actually, I know. you can have it. Oh, you can but have my place. No, it's okay. You, you can have my place. <laughs> 
No, I, I watched Mallory do it last year, so apparently oh, she's, she's, she's like a in a row. They wanted yeah. the experience yeah. this year. That's what they're going with. What's that experience? <laughs> but actually, it should be you because you didn't get a chance to do I it. I know. I don't. I can step down. I will be there on the field. We got the graduation at four o'clock, but I will be there at uh, two o'clock. Well, if something um, happens now. You, you're her stand-in. Understudy? understudy. Is that such a thing? Well, if I'm playing games with my kids, you know, you gotta step up. <laughs> that happened last year. I was like, we, I think I need actually, to go back there. We uh, actually, my wife and I actually babysat her. You did. Killed him while she was on the field uh, doing the judging. And uh, the youngest one kept Kevin. on saying, cow poo, cow poo. That was the only words he said, cow poo. It's not appropriate for cable on oh, Yeah, we're not fine on that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it past 8 o'clock? There's different rules past 8. <laughs> Nope, so they're very excited. I will be there regardless, but if uh, I need to step down as judge, I'm totally fine. Yeah, I well, don't if you happen to step it. into this job, then you can step into. You need to clean your shoes, and we'll uh, <laughs> jump in. Uh, so I you're supposed to, to wear the shirt though at the following selectmen's meeting. I don't have. They'll get you one. I don't right? have a shirt. I've, I've seen uh, Mrs. Goulart wear the shirt, but I have not. Uh, I wear my I shirt. I don't have one, so I'll speak to someone in the Lions Club. Okay. Mr. Only, if you're watching. I know, I hope he is. <laughs> help us out. We need to step up. We've just changed his <laughs> judges. We've told him about shirts. Thank you. Thank Mr. You. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve the request of the Lions Club to hold the annual uh, cow chip festival from May 30th to June 2nd. Second. 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 Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. I remember one year when Father Tim, who was pastor at St. Nicholas, was the judge. Yeah, and that remember. third cow wasn't <laughs> cooperating. Performing. And he was concerned about whether or not he was going to get to North Dayton for four <laughs> o'clock. <laughs> Cows have performance anxiety, yeah. too. That's yes. what we Was that the year when they saw their handler and they were like, oh, and then just yes. went? And yes, then it was. <laughs> so it was he needs to be away. on hand. Yeah. As soon as he came on the field, they were so happy. <laughs> Well, they had the cow chip festival last year also in Rehoboth, That's and they right. brought a, they brought another cow in to get the three cows to, to get going. They brought a fourth really? one in. Yep. So. Ah. Okay, the next item, G, request from the library to declare surplus equipment. We have they a some uh, tables, and um, they received some children's furniture from the Lakeville Public Library, so they're just replacing some old furniture and looking to dispose of them in the best interest of the town. I assume the town can't use those tables that they sound like they're in rough shape. Yeah, they're not in the best, and they're also chilled, like they're yeah. for kids, so. Um, we used to I use don't. the children's school chairs in this Can room. I just say how happy I am we have these? These are about I a wanna year old. I want to stay on the subject. He wants the Sorry, table. but. Let's get back to. <laughs> yeah, the children's, I don't, I don't know where we would put them, yeah. honestly, so. And she said you could, I asked her that. She goes, well, you can look at them, but they're kind of run down. If you want to use one of these children's room tables in there, I'll use the desk. You can use the children's table. Well, you've taken my desk away. <laughs> now you're getting a little kid's table. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve that two tables from the library be declared surplus property as voted by the Board of Trustees. Second. Is there a second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. I, I would mention to the public, if. I know we have some uh, daycare programs in town. Now that this has been declared surplus, is that, if anyone's interested in looking at these, uh, just get in touch with Mrs. Brady in our office before they're disposed of, because if you can use them, we could probably make some kind of arrangement. H, approve and sign updated contract for appraisal services for Miller's Lane uh, project. Has everybody had an opportunity to read the uh, contract that's before us? Yes. I know I have. And the like figure of the attachments. Yeah. <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions about this? I didn't. I appreciated the attachment especially. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to thank whoever prepared that. Well, it was Mr. Giroux. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Giroux. That's why, that's that's why the town uh, after enjoys fashion. his services. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I will make a motion that we uh, approve the contract for appraisal services as submitted by Claude Giroux in the amount of $8,775 for appraisal of properties for the Millers Lane project. I will second that. I will second. 
Any discussion? Aye. If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention. The ayes have it. Now you want to find out to Mr. Chairman? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next item is a recommendation from Chief uh, Police Chief McDonald to hire a part-time dispatcher. It's my recommendation that the Board of Selectmen appoint Officer Alora Brock Clemens as a part-time dispatcher. I, I'm going to happily motion this. Um, I guess my question for the town administrator is, is this officer currently part-time? As an officer? Okay. She's a reserve, yes. So she would essentially be full-time between the two? Uh, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, she's not going to, I don't know if I can actually say this. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, she's going to be like a reserve dispatcher, isn't she? Yes. Okay. And um, I don't know if I can publicly say so why. Nothing's wrong. Everything's yeah, yeah. fine. Um, but she does need this vote so she can mm -hmm. go to training. And I actually thank her for stepping up and doing this. Yeah, and I absolutely. will second Dr. Z's motion. Any uh, discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. Thank you. Resignation letters. We received a letter. The Board of Selectmen received a letter. Uh, it is with a heavy heart that I submit my letter of resignation from the Open Space Committee. We are moving out of this wonderful town. I would like to thank all of you for the confidence in me. The Open Space Committee is a wonderful group of people, and they are doing great things. Sincerely, Edward Pollock. And I know that he has left our town. He's moved to a neighboring town. And we wish him the, uh, the best of luck and thank him for his uh, service to the town. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we accept the letter of resignation for Edward Palak from the Open Space Committee with thanks and appreciation. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. We also uh, received the, uh, a letter. It's addressed to the Dighton Trails Committee. This memorandum is to notify the Dighton Board of Selectmen that effective immediately I am submitting my resignation from the Dighton Trails Committee. The change in my status is due to the change in job responsibilities that I've taken on with my employer and the additional responsibilities I now have caring for my mother. As we all know, the work of the Trails Committee is vitally important to our town, so I would just like to encourage the Board of Selectmen and the town to continue to do all they can to support the work of the committee as its members continue to work to make our trail system more accessible to all of our residents. Respectfully submitted, Kim Fennell Gale. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to accept the uh, resignation effective immediately. Mr. Kim Fennell Gale from the Trails Committee with thanks and appreciation for her service. Second. And there a second. I also would like to uh, uh, thank Ms. Uh, Mrs. Gale for all the work she's done for our town. Thank you. All those in favor? Sorry. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. Was I apologize. No. I was just going to say both of those <coughs> committees are in real desperate need of members. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider volunteering your time. Thank you. That was Dighton Trails Committee and Open Space Committee. Thanks. So I'm going to uh, give this next letter to our clerk because I am a member of the Historic Commi uh, Commission. And if you could address it and you can, uh, I won't be voting on this. I'll abstain from voting on this. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> so this letter is addressed to our board, um, dated May 21st. Please be advised uh, that the Historical Commission voted at their May 21st meeting to recommend the following uh, individuals be appointed to the Historic Commission to fill our two vacancies, Pamela Martin Nickerson and Rafa Delphin, respectfully yours, Pat Olson, Chairperson. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion uh, that we appoint both Pamela Martin Nickerson and Rafa Delphin to the Historical Commission. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, opposed, abstention, the abstention has, I may have said aye at the beginning, automatically, but I'm abstaining. That was really an abstention. <laughs> I do have a question, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. So there are no more vacancies on the Historical Commission, correct? But they will be shortly, because okay. one member in June 30th, he's asking not to be reappointed, so oh, right. at that Which point in July, it'll come back before us and we'll be submitting another uh, name. 
Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, the next uh, agenda item is the review of the selectmen's uh, meeting schedule for the second half of this year. So I think it looks good. Yeah. So I didn't forget a month this time, so that's You good. didn't forget a month, but I don't know if you see here. At the end, it says December 2018, so if we could just ah. update that to 2019. That doesn't change anything. It Are doesn't change the right the dates. dates yeah. so I'm sorry. Yeah, right I'm dates. sorry, guys. No, totally fine. Um, the other thing to just notice in August, I didn't think it wise to do the last week of August because it's leading up to Labor Day. So those are two meetings back to back. And I just wanted to make sure you're okay with that. Before to not have them in the last week of August. Correct. Right? I think okay. it's the 28th or 7th, whatever that Wednesday is. Oh, it would be the, it would be the 8th, 28th. Um, trying to avoid Labor Day. So when is Labor Day? Labor Day is the following Labor Monday, Day right? Labor Day is that September the 2nd, but that week um, where it's the summer, I don't know. Everyone, there are a lot of people are out of town. I have no, I have no objection with moving it to August 21st. That's fine with me. So the proposed schedule is for, uh, for the selectmen to meet at 6.30 on July 10th, July 24th, August 14th, August 21st, September 11th, September 25th, October 9th, October 23rd, November 13th, November 20th, and December 11th and December 18th. Again, uh, for the months of November and December, those are also back to back because of Thanksgiving and Christmas, the Christmas holiday. So that November schedule, you didn't take into consideration the, of my anniversary the day before? And my the birthday is November I am, uh, So I bring this up because no, if you don't have, if you have an issue, <laughs> this is now the time. <laughs> oh, I have no um, issue with it, November 20th. No issue. I'm okay with the uh, schedule. Mrs. Golot, you have any concerns? I got a comment. Sure. Mm -hmm. September 2nd's my birthday. That was Labor Day for my mother. Get out of here. No, I, love that. <laughs> I was in the hospital like during that. Labor Almost Day. Yeah. Over my head. <laughs> So I'll entertain a motion then. She labored when she's supposed to be recognized. <laughs> for they actually made it a holiday. <laughs> and our son was born on my birthday. That was Labor Day for me, too. That's, I'm sure it was. There's a lot of Labor Days there. Um, so realize that these, this schedule can be changed if we have a need to change it. Um, and add more to them. I like yes, no, and it. We, probably, we yes. We make that disclaimer, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, someone uh, yeah, wants to make a motion? Absolutely, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to make a motion that we uh, approve the proposed schedule of meetings and important dates as prepared this evening with the December meetings changed to 2019. <laughs> Is there a second? second. Scrivener's error. Zing. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. Do you watch Big Brother? Is that why you, that's amazing? I know. I, I I was being I was letting that slide. Oh, like I'm that. sorry, but it I was like very that. good. <laughs> I love it. That was really good. <laughs> so the uh, the next item is uh, the approval of FP five. Uh, that's just fancy words for underground storage permit. Okay, and the storage uh, permits issued by the fire department. So we have one for uh, Reese's Auto Sales, and we have one for. Uh, it used to be get more, but what is it now called? What's the gas station called? Um, I don't know. Highway gas? Value, value gas. Exactly. Value, That's yes, correct. value gas. Get more, previously get more. <laughs> That's why no one understood what it was. We're like, it's not, oh, it's a different name now. <laughs> also taught in Yacht Club. In taught in Yacht, so there's three total? Eight. Okay. Oh, what about the yes. station on 44? It might be bigger than, what is it, 10,000 gallons? That can't be. Well, they'll be back before us next meeting. Uh, this I, is the three we have. They have underground storage. Yeah, sink or swim in the license world. That's how I feel. No offense so, to the business. But. So do you want us to take these individually, or can we take all three in one motion? I was going to make one motion, but then say who it is you know, yes. specifically. Hi. Are you entertaining motions? Yes, I am. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve the FP2 permits um, to be issued by the fire department for 
Reese's Auto Sales Incorporated at 556 Somerset Ave, North Dighton. Dinesh Patel at 1866, excuse me, County Street, Dighton, Mass. And the Taunton Yacht Club at 2125 Water Street, Dighton, Mass. Second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The ayes have it. What is the date? Is They just have to do this by a certain date? Yeah, they've already been inspected and approved by the fire department. Oh, so maybe mobile hasn't been checked yet? They haven't. Um, they haven't applied. But they might have a, so there's sure. limits on gallons, and so they might not trip it based upon the gallons. This, if higher the gallon, it, it becomes a state inspection. So, okay. So, so I'm going to look into it. Correct. I'm going to look into okay. it, and then okay. if, if we do have to do it, we'll have it on a, a next agenda. But... Um, but it would be incumbent upon the business to, to sort of select and glue lights point yes. to get that in. If you, if you need this license right. to operate your business as a board of selectmen member, I'm relying on you as the owner of the business to know when you okay. need to get in. Well, we're going to keep our list too at the same mm -hmm. time. So um, just to make sure everyone's doing what they're supposed Absolutely. to do. Absolutely. Okay, the next agenda item is the review motions for the annual town meeting. These are in draft form. I just want to um, let you know that uh, they will be reviewed by council. All this is really is, um, this year there's some confusion uh, just because of the votes that this, the finance committee made about lowering certain aspects of um, budgets. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are making motions. We reviewed them together, Karen and I, uh, but today we did have to focus on the warrant. The warrant's been posted, everybody. Today was the day. Um, so they'll be reviewed by town council and he'll um, make sure there were a couple in his review, a couple of articles that he was specific about what the motions will entail, such as map and lot numbers and things like that. So we'll make sure we incorporate that commentary. Um, but this is just to give you an idea of what, um, what will be before you at town meeting or before the town at town meeting. Mr. Chairman, do we need to, or Madam Administrator, do we need to vote to approve these? So um, this is just to give you information. This this these. might be uh -huh. my fault, because I want to just give you information, and maybe I should stop. Um, these are but usually you've already voted on the funding sources. You agreed with the Board of Selectmen's <coughs> recommendations last, finance last committee. meeting. I'm sorry, the Finance Committee recommendations last And the Board of Selectmen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've agreed to the funding mm -hmm. sources, and we just take that and put it into words as a motion. So there's really nothing for you to do. It's just to give you a peek at what is going on and I don't have to do this going forward um, no I don't I just that. like to give information I think it's helpful I totally do not <laughs> mind it yeah. being on here um, but I'm just thinking procedurally perhaps maybe we maybe it should have always been on here but correct me if I'm wrong so I can go out and even you um, Selectman Pacheco you've been here um, about a year now we usually are handed these sort of before the meeting like okay. I don't recall it ever so is there a reason why is it just transparency? I'm just literally. It's just. I didn't to let know, you know if we needed on. this to be on there. I guess is my question. I guess we like, don't. I mean, like I want you to be involved. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is also habit for me mm -hmm. from previous community. We did a little bit differently. I think it's just habit. So if you don't want this in the future, that's fine. Um, I just didn't know if we needed to vote because you don't. my thing is, it sounds like some things might change just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so if we vote and then it's like we're stuck yeah. with this version. I would rather just have it be an FYI for the public and for us. Yeah, no, and I don't think you were looking for a vote, though. You, you just said I'm to not, review the... But I did have a question specifically mm -hmm. for Select Mangular on one of these, and now I'm blanking at what it was, but I'll just reach was out to you. Was it 15? The one we were talking about earlier? Uh, no, that was a last-minute crisis oh. that came up this afternoon. <laughs> um, Karen and I talked about it this, mor this morning, and now I... Um, you're having a senior moment. I sure am. I wish <laughs> I knew what it was, but I know where to find you so I can talk to you. Uh, but it was specific to you, so I'm sure I'll figure okay. this out at 2 o'clock right. in the morning. Um, Probably when I'm trying to do with dirty water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm totally blanking. So I will reach out to you, Selectman Cooler, okay. when it comes to my mind. No, I appreciate this. This is the earliest I've ever received the motions. 
So I wasn't I wasn't <laughs> making a criticism. Sure. I really appreciate this. I just didn't know if we needed to vote because right. we had never done that yeah. before. And we also put in here on certain of the articles that were to you both finance committee and you agreed to defer. So we're just writing move that the town pass without action. Sure. Um, maybe that's what it was. That's what we normally say, right? Or just someone doesn't just make doesn't a motion. make the motion. Yeah. So what if, like William Street, I know one of our things was uh, requesting ten thousand dollars for William Street drainage. Both groups decided to defer to the town, town, the fall town meeting on that item. We would just say, Mr. Moderator, I move to pass without action. Well, he no. What he'll do is he'll call for a motion on article. And then nobody number, will make it. And then he'll ask again, are there any motions? And if no one says anything, he'll move to the next article. Okay. So should we? Go with move to pass without action, or just let them just let them no not one say makes anything. a motion. No makes a motion. All right, well that saves us paper. And so usually it's written as just like no motion, or it might be there, well, but the it minutes, says like well, no we motion. Wrote, in move big that letters. the town pass without action, so mm -hmm. that there's, so that the folks sitting there in the audience know we know what we're doing, and it's not just okay. Dead well, it'll air, be recorded we missed, as yeah. <laughs> we yeah. missed something. Right. <laughs> it'll yeah. just be recorded as as no motion no on the motion. article. Okay. But it can come up at a future meeting. Sure. All right, and I have a. I need to speak with Mr. McKeon tomorrow anyway, so um, we'll just let him know that that's happening, so he is aware. All right, and that's it. Correspondence. We received a letter from uh, Fire Chief McGee. I am writing this letter to inform you that on May 19, 2019, I will be appointing two new members to the Call Firefighter EMT B ranks. The new members are Nicholas Wood and Christopher Raposo. Any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. So I assume they've already begun working for the fire department mm -hmm. and we welcome them to our town. As Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll make a motion that we acknowledge receipt of the appointment uh, of Nicholas Wood and Christopher Pozo to the call firefighter EMT ranks. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> we received a second letter uh, this is addressed to uh, Treasurer Collector Mary Hathaway. Dear Mary, please accept this letter as notification that I will be retiring, retiring from my position as Assistant Treasurer Collector in three months. My last day of employment will be Thursday, August 15, 2019. Thank you all for your support over the, eight, uh, the last 18 years and for the opportunity to work as your Assistant Treasurer Collector. I wish you all the best. Respectfully submitted, Helen Cadillac. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion uh, that we accept uh, the notification of retirement from uh, our assistant treasurer slash collector, Helen Cadlick, with sincere thanks and appreciation for her over uh, 18 years of dedicated service to our town and our residents. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Just discussion. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Comment. Yep. Helen, I can't thank you enough for what you did when you stepped up somewhere between 2008 mm -hmm. and nine. I had full confidence you could do it and you proved me right. So thank you very much. We appreciate you taking on that extra duty and all of that responsibility. Great job. Thank I you. I miss her, Mr. Yeah. Chairman. She's we all, yes. She's just a dedicated mm -hmm. you know, individual. You will be missed, Helen. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. Announcements. As we mentioned earlier, there's going to be a special town meeting on June 3rd, 2019 at 6 p.m. at the Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School Auditorium. And following that, uh, there'll be an annual town meeting at 7 p.m. at Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School Auditorium. Bulky items, curbside pickup. It began this past Monday, the week of May 20th through May 24th. Tags are on, still on sale at the Board of Health Office 1111 Somerset Avenue, Dighton, Mass, 02715. For more information, call the Board of Health at 774-872-0943. And I know that I had put a refrigerator out in front of my house yesterday with the tag, and it was picked up early this morning. Did you so. take out the thing that they make you take out? Is they that take the door off. The they door off. Take yeah. the door off. Yes, yes. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Check in. He's in compliance. Right? <laughs> We don't want any complaints from Borges Truck. I, I thought I did see you drive by a couple of times to see whether or not. Uh, <laughs> Just take a picture. But I, no, I did take the door off. It wasn't that easy. Selectman illegally the... recycled a refrigerator. He's he didn't. Chairman. Just a joke. Yep. Bill them at 11. Yeah. Yes. Uh, That's what they're here for. <laughs> 
Uh, just a reminder that uh, this coming Monday, Mo Memorial Day, there'll be a parade uh, beginning in Rehoboth. <laughs> I would ask as many people as possible to uh, attend this parade. As you know, every other year, one year it's in Rehoboth, next year it'll be in Dighton. I believe the, my colleagues will be marching the parade. Uh, <coughs> as selectmen, I'll be uh, marching with the Rehoboth uh, Minutemen. Uh, there are vacancies on the following boards, the Trail Committee, as noted earlier, Zoning Board of Appeals, the Governance Committee, Soil Conservation Commission, Land Use Committee, Bylaw Committee, CPC at Large Member, and the Open Space Committee. Uh, selectman reports. I know, uh, Dr. Z, you, you wanted to say something on the Selectman's yeah, reports? Just very briefly. Um, just a quick update on our green communities designation application. This is where the town needs to tell the green communities program what exactly we want to use the $144,000 for. Um, we did have to change around some of the um, some of the items. Um, so I just wanted to let my colleagues and the public know what the town had decided. Um, it is in line with exactly what we had stated at a previous meeting our projects would be. We simply expanded them to other buildings um, within the town. So um, one would be installing LED lighting and controls at prime time, Dighton Public Library, Fire Station 1, and Fire Station 2. Two, installing uh, Wi-Fi programmable thermostats in Town Hall, prime time, the Dighton Public Library, Old Town Hall, and Fire Station 1. Building weatherization at Dighton Middle School, Dighton Elementary School, and we will be in touch with the school about that. Um, Town Hall, Dighton Public Library, Fire Station 1, Fire Station 2, and the Highway Garage. And the installation of two electric vehicle charging stations at Town Hall and Old Town Hall. Um, for the public and for my colleagues, if you wish to see um, the cost, as well as um, the potential energy savings from these measures. Everything is within the energy reduction plan, um, which we comprised probably last year. Um, it is on our website, so everything is there. Um, but all in total of our $144,000, it looks like this will come in ar around 138, 139, <coughs> so there should be just a wee bit of money left over from that grant. Good. So. More energy, sa the good thing is more energy savings for the town because our previous ideas, Mr. Chairman, a lot of them were at just single buildings like town hall furnace replacement. Mm -hmm. The energy savings from that is just not enough right. for the investment. So that's why we kind of broadened. We might have a, a few tweaks to make, um, but I will bring that to the board, but we're hoping to uh, resubmit next week. Very good, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I attended a meeting um, last Thursday, at Sur it was a Sursage Sur sponsored meeting, and we met in um, Easton at the Water Department. Th there were two speakers from the EPA. One of them was uh, uh, Newton Tedder, who was, I believe, second in command, and um, somebody from the Audubon Society and somebody from DEP. And we were talking about how we're gonna meet the requirements of stormwater plans. And I have enrolled in two-day session to uh, get the, mass, the stormwater management plan completed to meet the July 1st deadline. And also there's a second training on um, uh, the uh, IDDE pro program that deals with illicit discharges. So these will be some training sessions that are coming up that will be beneficial to the stormwater committee and also to the town as we move forward with our plan. And we were commended by Nelson Tedder, uh, Newton Tedder for the NOI we submitted because we incorporated so much um, local material and, and I told him the, the positions represented on our stormwater committee and he said that's exactly what you need. You've got every board you need. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was very nice to hear. Thank you. <clears throat> Acknowledgements, uh, we received a donation to Prime Time in memory of Deborah, Deborah McGee in the amount of $40, and we also received an anonymous donation in the amount of $30 for Prime Time. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we acknowledge receipt of the uh, Prime Time donations of $40 in memory of Deborah McGee and $30 to the Prime Time gift and donations account. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 
Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. Approval of the warrants. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that the following warrants be approved. 46A-19 in the amount of $98,804.83 payroll. Warrant 46B-19 in the amount $279.33.90 accounts payable. Dated May 15th. Warrant 47A-19 in the amount of $97,927.81 payroll. 47B-19 in the amount of $224,074.92. And 47C-19 in the amount of $100, the last two being accounts payable, dated May 22nd. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. <clears throat> Public input. Anybody want to say anything? What's that? Congratulations. <laughs> Good. You should be. Grandpa Berkwin? Kingsley Thomas. So my name is. Oh, very nice. And uh, he's, well, just a little bit. I mean, he's three weeks old. Oh, he's fresh. So, and I. I did mention to a couple people, but I just, it's, I get a little choked up just talking about it because it's so happy. Because she went through a lot to get there, but uh, everything's fine, baby's healthy, eight pounds, three ounces. I still don't know the length because they, they <laughs> get that for some reason. But uh, everything's fine. I, every, everybody's working together to help. Congratulations. It takes a village, so right. it sounds like it you... It sure does, I'll tell you that. Is this your first grandchild? This will be number three. Oh, wow. Okay. Congratulations. My wife really wanted a girl, but it didn't go that route. She also wanted the, the child to be born on her birthday, but that didn't happen. <coughs> Apparently, it's something between a mother-daughter thing. A lot of hands there. Yeah. <laughs> right. But uh, May 1st was the actual... Uh, well, we're, we're happy that she's healthy. And since we're uh, dedicating this time to grandfathers that are proud of their grandchildren, my grandson, Terrell, my oldest grandson, graduated today from the University of Connecticut. Oh, summer congratulations cum laude. To So we're very, uh, we're very proud of him. Which so. campus? Uh, New Haven. Congratulations to him. Congrats. Thanks so we're very proud of him. Congratulations to you. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, the ayes have it. Thank, Thank you, Cable. Cable.